Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Westeros Total War. We're playing as House Stark. This is episode 24. So guys, we're currently besieging at Bitterbridge with Rob Stark, the King in the North. We have his loyal bannerman, Bran, Rickon, his three brothers. Uh, we've also got Horsbane, Roose Bolton, Tristan, Martell, Galbert Glover, Rickard Carr, Stark, and John Umber pushing down against the Tyrells. In the last episode, we managed to kill a fair few Tyrells. At the moment in the campaign, we've killed Mace, we've killed Garland, we've killed Florist. <laughs> Florist Tyrell. Oh, Jesus. I meant to say Loris. I got the, the flowers on the mine, Flores, Tyrell, that's actually quite funny, that is, I might leave that in. <laughs> Regardless, we're pushing against the Tyrells, depending on how well we do, we might even split the army and go um, northeast and face the Arons, but the Tullys, oh, got to give it to them, it's currently besieging salt pans, Nesta Royce is in there, another army. I was accidentally saying um, Harris Harlow when referring to House uh, Arid in the last part. I meant Harold Hardling. But the Tullys have two full stacks here. They're doing quite well. That's a lot of siege equipment. Four battering rams, two ladders, two towers. Okay. So can we take Bitterbridge? No, in one more turn. So, yeah. Over the last couple of episodes, House Renly's been destroyed. We've taken the Stormlands. We have the Crownlands, the Westerlands. The Iron Islands and the North. Family tree-wise, no one's had any more children. The latest sort of children, Rickon had a, a son, Marlon, who was half cast Stark. So they're somewhat inbred, but House Cast Stark was made a long time ago from uh, Carl Stark, who left and built the, his own fortress. Um, okay. Right, what else we got here? Ari is 10. Not much else we can do this turn. We're currently in debt at the moment, which is unfortunate. We're making 313 per turn. Once we sack B Bitterbridge and once we start pushing down against Ashford, Cider Hall, once we get to Highgarden, we'll be laughing. We still need to go around and get Golden Grove and Old Oak. But if we can push through here and we can cut off and surround those two territories, we'll be laughing because they won't be able to push Silver Hill, Lannisport or Krakow without exposing from behind. Okay. Right, House Martell. Oh, it's great to see the Dornish uh, pushing up. Uh, assistance request. Your ally has requested your assistance in battle. If you accept this army, uh, your army will reinforce. Do you wish to accept? Yes, I would love to control it, though, because that's a rather large stack. Lionel the Air, a random generated general of House Tyrell. Trying to save some Dornish. Let's, let's do it. Let's hope we didn't lose too many, though. No, I don't think he actually did. End of turn report. Stark with the military. Tully with the financial. Tyrell with the production. Really, that's flipped. Stark with the population and overall. Death stalks the land in Griffin's Roost. It's great to see the Martells. Uh, obviously, they do have Blackhaven. They're pushing into us helping. We could even give them like Ashford so they continue to push with us. Um, but we'll just have to see. Okay, what else is happening? Let's get Rob Stark, the King in the North, to take Bitterbridge. A two to one. Let's just hold that for a minute. Now, I did ask you guys in the last episode, who should I make the Hand of the King? And it was sort of a bit everywhere. Um, I've made the decision myself, Roderick Cassell was going to be Hand of the King. He's 67. There was either a choice between, what, Wyman Manderley, John Umber... Galbert Glover. I feel like John Umber and Galbert Glover are more military-minded. Um, but obviously, being the Castellan of Winterfell, he is not... Um, he, he won't... Yeah, he has some of the same skills as it takes to be Hand of the King. I'd rather not give it to Bran or Rickon. So, yeah. Roderick Cassell. I name you the Hand of the King. He's 67, so he, he might not last too long. Okay, um, what's going on here? We can we can hmm, we can push against the Lionel here, or we can surround and take Bitterbridge. I think because we can't push any more men over the river, we're going to get Roos to hit Bitterbridge from the side, and we'll also push up Tristan Martell. We'll auto resolve the Battle of Bitterbridge. Okay, and then we have who? Rickard Carstark, John Amber, and Galbert Glover. Hmm. 
Should I fight with John Umber's army? Or Rickard Garstark? Those cell swords are not as good as my men at arms. Okay. Right, let's get Rob to take Bitter Bridge and then we'll play that battle down there. It is a 5 to 1 ratio. We have roughly just over 5,000 Northerners versus 1,000 Tyrells. Clear cut order is off. Rob lost 277. And now that we've taken Bitter Bridge on the Manda, we've boosted up our economy and uh, we've freed up these units to cross now. What's this? Samuel Crane. I didn't even see that. That was hiding behind my um my lines. Seven to nine. Yeah, another order resolve there. Alright. Let's get Rick on to push across. I might even move Roos here. We'll just hold a line here until Rob's ready. Alright, let's merge up. Uh, let's build a Goswood and actually let's repair first and then we'll build a Godswood. We need to get that old gods conversion going on. Okay, so Rob's in Bitter Bridge, along with his three brothers, Bran and Rickon. Roose Bolton and Tristan and Horsbane are here. The Martell seem to be pushing. Lucas Tyrell, a randomly generated general as well. So let's fight with John Umber. They've fled back. And let's push through here now as well. Okay, it's a 9 to 2 ratio. We have 7,000 northerners versus just shy of 1,000 men of House Tyrell. A lot of armoured spearmen, a lot of just spearmen, a couple of free riders. Lionel, obviously not of Tyrell blood, just a randomly generated general. We've killed Garland, we've killed Loras. Mace Tyrell is dead. Uh, Willem Lannister is. No, uh, is it William or Willem? I think it's William. Um, nickname Willem, I guess. Yeah, William um, Tyrell is still alive. He's the faction leader, and I guess Lionel is the randomly generated general. Yeah. No one, it's impossible for anyone to come of age now if they were even born and uh, conceived and born on the first term. Jesus. This bloody picture scares the flying fuck out of me so much. <laughs> Blood and fire. Words of House Targaryen, even though it's fire and blood. I don't know why. Okay, why that is. Um, okay, so we're facing the Tyrells here. This is very interesting because we have a Sept in the way. So how are we going to deal with this? How are we going to rectify this situation? What side are we going to deploy upon? Do we push this way? Or do we push upon the corner? Or do we completely not bother and push on this other side, which might be a little bit better for us? Because this seems, if we deploy here, it's going to put us... Hmm. What side of this do we want to deploy? The right or the left? Well, it the, the, the deployment is more so skewed this way, so... I imagine the Tyrells are going to be deploying this way. So let's get my men at arms to basically hug as tight as possible to that. We might be able to get a better deployment once the battle starts because, yeah, it does glitch out sometimes like this. Which is odd. That's not bad. Right, let's spread you out as best we can. Once I think we're better off just to, we'll just get you in position. Once we start the battle, we can tweak and refine the formation. Okay. Crossbowmen and archers will pop you just behind here as well. John Umber taking the command. Pop you just here, my friend. Alright, cavalry will put you on the far right and the left. We might even be able to get some sort of flank going on this way. Alright, pretty happy with that so far. Let's start the battle and quickly pause. And let's tweak this. But at least my right flank is incredibly secure. Is it been an, it's been a bit of a prick, this is. Alright, I understand, but... 
I want to deploy here. Okay, maybe this is sort of our best bet that we're going on here. That was better. Just need to find the sweet spot. Fuck, this is annoying. Alright, that, that's going to have to do. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Right. Fuck you now. I can't... I think the game's lagging. I don't know why it's doing this. It's just freaking out. No, it's not the... It's not the game. Right, that'll do. Jesus. It's gonna have to do. Right, let's unpause now. Right, reinforcements. My reinforcements are coming from where? Okay, right, and then Rickard's coming from the far right. That's great. That'll do. Okay, we're reforming now. Let's do the same with my archers. Right. Cavalry, get on the flanks. It's sort of hard to see the Tyrells because they're... Hiding in the trees. Push this way. Keep John Umber at the back. Get Rickard, Carl, Stark and Galbert Glover to push up. No Stark fighting in this army. Well, I meant as in Rob or Bran. Loyal Bannerman, hopefully. We want the Tyrells to push us. We've got a really good position here. Cavalry at the ready. Pushing through here quite nicely. We might even be able to neutralize these guys here. There's only 22 of those free riders and then 16 of the hedge knights. We'll just sort of see what they do. My crossbowmen are in range of their crossbowmen. Let's angle you guys here a bit more. Yeah, let's hit the cavalry here. We will... Overwhelm them. Right, crossbowmen. Oh, you're not in range. My cavalry is going to hit these guys from behind. A surprise attack. And let's get rid of these sellsword whores. Oh, Jesus. You're going to have to watch out for that. Don't stop, you bastards. Jesus, they're firing at John Umber now. Right, change direction, go for the crossbowmen. How's my cavalry doing here? Let's envelop these guys. Because I think they're going to charge for my, for my line, looks like. Get my archers to halt, I don't want you to hit my... My cavalry charging in. So it looks like... Galbert Glover or Rickard Karstark, whoever came from the right, has pushed in. Okay. There's no point in sitting back idly by. John Umber sounds the charge. And my cavalry... Uh, yeah, ally cavalry. Who came in first? I guess it's Rickard Karstark. Pushing in from the far right. All right let's push the cavalry back. And push you here. Interesting engagement. Fire fire at the general's bodyguard there. Archers. Get halt, John Umber. Right, push everyone in. Go, go, go. Yeah, a little bit everywhere this battle, but we'll manage. Right, we just need to... Pop you guys here. Let's move up a bit now. Okay, so we've got a front line going on here. And we've got 
another one going on this side. Yeah, push up and help. We might even be able to get around. Where's my cavalry? Push this way. And it looks like we've nearly enveloped them. Nicely done. Push up here and support. Archers hitting these guys from behind. I'm going to get my archers to halt because I think we're going to cause too much friendly fire. Alright, move John Umber up. And get the cavalry to get around them. The rest of my cavalry is finishing off the last of the free riders. That's good. And my infantry is disengaging them here. Cool. So it's sort of got a line here going and then a line around the other way. Come on, brave men of House Stark with John Umber. We're Rickard Garstark and Galbert Glover. Obviously not leading the van, coming from behind now, trickling in more reinforcements. Cool. Right, cavalry, where are you? Other cavalry here. Perfect. Oh, there's already guys engaging. Right, I want to get some charges from here, from behind. Go here if you can. And, yeah, just try hit some of these guys from behind. Go, hit the spearmen here. Try break them. Cavalry, draw your swords! And... This should be alright. This might give some breathing room for my infantry to push up as well. That right, wasn't the best charge. If I do say so myself. Pretty piss poor, for being honest. Right, let's get these guys down here. They're broken now, though. When one breaks, it causes a flood. If there's a trickle, there's a flood. Okay, let's move my cavalry further this side, except for those infantry. Right, we're enveloping them now. How am I... yeah. Hit these 11 crossbowmen here. Should get a good charge. How many did we kill from that charge? We killed all of them. No. Nope. Four survived. We killed seven in the initial charge. Let's get my cavalry to run down some of the routing. Actually, no. Hit these guys that are still holding on. There's some still armored spearmen here. Infantry hold. Cool. And that broke them. Good job, guys. Very, very good job. And Galbert Glover is finally moving in some men at arms. Good on ya. Right, what's happening here now? Uh, a couple of routing. I guess it's their general that's still holding on, still holding fast. Wherever he is. Where is he? No, he's routing now. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's start speeding things up. The more we can capture, the better. Let's do it. We've captured 439 so far. So basically, the plan for the campaign is now just to continue to push against the Tyrells. Once we've done with that, uh, we'll probably push against the Arons. I'll give the Tyrells an option to bend, and, to bend the knee once again. Jesus, we're really going after this general. Literally raining fire and death upon him. Copping a name, uh, a flaming arrow in the back would be a horrible way to go. Maybe John Umber can cut him off there. Maybe. What did we get him? I think an arrow might have got him. We got Lionel. Okay. So guys, in the not too distant future, this campaign will unfortunately have to end. I know. But uh, what would you like to replace it? Westeros Total War? Maybe doing another faction? It would be either between Renly, House uh, Stannis, House Renly, House Aaron, 
House Joffrey probably, probably out of them. Uh, I'm probably missing one or two off the top of my head. Or would you like to see some more Third Age? Um, well, yeah, I haven't done Third Age in a while. I do have the Divide and Conquer, which I haven't done a, a series on. So, John Umber lost 265. Rickard Carstark lost 199. And Lionel lost 1,752. Cool. Here are the casualties sustained and casualties inflicted. Ah, the king in the north arises. Seems like we've killed some of your men, your grace. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck off, Walter Frey. Um... I don't care about Lionel, let's execute him. Cool stuff. Right. Lucas Tyrell is there. Let's rally up and push. Can we even start the Siege of Ashford? Rickard Ocart. Oh, famous name from the... The Reach. Okay, we'll wait for Bran and then we'll push down against Cider Hall. We'll also push against Ashford in the next. The Martells are helping us, which is great, but we're going to continue with our, what, is it 9, 1, 2, I think it's 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, our 9, I was right, our 9 full stacks into the Reach. For some reason it still says how Stannis has Brightwater Keepers because I haven't updated my map information. The Tyrells still have the Arbor as well. We need to take that. We took Driftmark off them. But guys, I have to end the video here. If you have enjoyed the video and would like to see more and support me, the best way to do that is by leaving a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, that would be great. But thanks for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Check out my social media links if you haven't already. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay tuned for more content on Zimsy Total War. Goodbye.